Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about how we can create a reactive React component using RxJS. React um, is a library to create user interfaces or components in a declarative way um, that also utilizes the virtual DOM to give much better performance. RxJS, on the other hand, is a library, um, JavaScript library that can make managing events, asynchronous events, and callbacks much easier, which is also like an um, um, implementation of the reactive pattern, the JavaScript implementation of that pattern. And uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use this um, component, this orange thing right here. So when I scroll down, it changes its visual state and when I go back again um, it will go back again to its original state that's it simple stuff but let's see how we can create this using react and rxjs so this is the repository that I, I'm using I will leave it in the description so that you can uh, you can take a look at the code and the components, this is the component that I will be creating and I, it will have also CSS style there and um, in the recipes folder you will have a container component that will use that so that our and our page our react router will use this component instead this scrolling header recipe and uh, so what you need to do is first you need to in my case I need to install react rxjs since I'm using node here so I need some kind of um, I'm using web pack to to bundle all of these files to be rendered by the browser correctly and I also like using Babel to transpire my ES6 to ES5. Uh, yeah, so let's get started here. So I would just say import React component from React. I'm going to create a new class and export that class too. I'm going to call this component scrolling header and it will extend component. Uh, this component is going to be um, a stateful component and this because I will need to use the state here so I will need to create a constructor has props and then call the parent class of the props and then I'm going to create a flag or state in this case I'm going to just call this is minimized. This one, this flag will tell me whether this header should be should be minimized or not. By default, it should not be. And uh, yeah. Now let's see what we need to render here. I'll just return um, a simple div that has a class name. Class name is is equal to the class in the normal DOM elements, but in React the keyword is class name. I'll just call it BS scrolling header. 
and uh, let's say here we are creating some h3 my header so this is the markup we are going to to return uh, we need to add some styling to this one so you can see just a simple div with whatever com uh, markups inside it so I added here um, CSS style so for this for the normal um, header it has a position of fixed some background height of 100 pixel width of 100 percent has transition just to add some animation or smooth animation when you changing the 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 height of this uh, component. Um, also has a margin and the top. Uh, the other class which is called small. So this one will be will have will change the height to be 50 pixel instead of the. 100 pixel and we change the background to be blue and also the text we will change that to be small with a different color simple stuff we need to wire these together so that we can say um, import So when we are when I do this, um, Webpack will take care of embedding the styles into my um, HTML page because I'm using the style loader or CSS loader. Maybe in the future I can go more details about um, um, Webpack and the management of the assets, code splitting and other stuff. Um, now let's see. What do we have right now? So I will save this. Go back here. Cool. We have our component, and you can see I do have it like embedded in this um, page that has some markup here. Um, the way I'm doing this is just I ha I have a recipe here that I'm importing this component. Put it here, and now we're adding some like dummy test text here just to to show this component thing you can see this component is different it's stateless because I don't use any state so it's just like a normal um, um, function and uh, the end result is this in this file the index I'm using the react router to to render this recipe all this container scrolling header container and with this path now let's make this more dynamic. So to implement this behavior, or to change this behavior, we can use it like the imperative way. But let's see how we can do this using the RxJS. So I'm going to say import RxJS from RxJS. Now, in every React component has um, lifecycle methods. One of these is called component did mount. This one will be called only the first time this component has been rendered. So it will be called after this method, the render method only for the first time because render can be called each time we are changing the state so here I will just say rxjs dot or in our case rxjs dot observable dot from event the event name will be window the so this from event will take the DOM element in this case it will be the window 
and then the event name which is in this case is called scroll after that we go and say subscribe and here we will receive the event then in the callback we can just say console and see what we have right now so again this observable will only return like a stream of events that you can subscribe to and then you can um, react to this um, events that you are receiving so let's show these console here you can see we are getting all of these events uh, but one thing you can see we are getting these events like a lot of a lot of them and uh, we need to minimize this I don't want to have all of these events maybe I, I can have like some kind of a deep bounce or every sometime I can react to one of them so the way to do it here simply you can just say deep bounce time and then I can specify the time in this case only be 200 millisecond so only after 200 milliseconds I will receive um, an event if, if they are like continuous events only uh, after 200 milliseconds between each of them I will receive I can subscribe to that event so if I save this go back here now we can see it's much better than before much less now Let's see how we can change this. So let me get rid of this console.log and I will say just if um, window dot scroll y is greater than for example 60, then change the state. So I can say this dot set. and then set the state to be is man here should be true otherwise you can say else you can say this dot set state and um, you can say is man as simple as that so here in this the logic is so simple I'm just changing this to be the state uh, depending on the value of the scroll height and the only thing I need to do here is just to change the class name based on that so I just can say Now, using the screen template of ES6, I could just say if this dot state dot as min is true, then add the small class to it. Otherwise, nothing. So yeah, that's that's basically it. What do we need to do here? Now if we save this and let's see what do we have. Cool. Now we can see our class is being added and removed from uh, this element. Now if we go back to, for example, other page and 
yeah oh we have an error here um, maybe you figure it out like what is the issue here is that we are not unsubscribing from this event or from this observable so we need to do this and the way to do that is simply there's another lifecycle method that's called component will unmount this one will be called whenever react is removing this component from the DOM so here what we need to do is just add a reference for example let's say this dot scrolls and here we can say this dot scrolls equal and here we can just say if scrolls then just say on unsubscribe from this event and uh Let's see if that fixed this issue or not. Mm, it seems it's working. When I go to the other page, let's see if we can do have receive any. Okay, there's no error whatsoever. Go back again. Cool, it's working correctly. So I hope this tutorial is useful and how we can like use RxJS with React to, to handle these events and um, to me this is much cleaner than use the imperative way like for example use timeout, set timeout and then clear that timeout and other th other stuff um, um, I hope this can help you, uh, can help you like uh, at least understand how we can use for example RxJS uh, with React. Thanks.